the quiet of Hanoi streets is broken by these familiar cries. There are many dishes in Hanoi. Yet, soy, a very plain but delicious snack, is the first choice during winter nights. Soy stalls that are found in many small alleys offer many types of traditional soy, like soy lax steamed sticky rice with peanuts, soy ducks and steamed sticky rice with green beans, soy trying white steamed sticky rice, soy zio steamed sticky rice with green beans, fried onion and fat, soy vo sticky rice cooked with split green beans, etc. There are also new types like soy vung du steamed sticky rice with sesame and coconut, soy kam du steamed young sticky rice flakes with coconut or soy gat with green beans and coconut. Steaming hot soy zio and soy duxin and bamboo baskets are served everywhere as breakfast. Plates of red silky mamar duka sticky rice are found in offering food trays during Tet festival or wedding feasts. Soy is a familiar snack. However, no one dares say they have tried all types of soy. From sticky rice, we can cook many types of soy with different tastes that are impressive. when soy was made first. It is possible since Lang Lu first created Ban Chung Square Sticky Rice Cake and Ban Day Round Sticky Rice Cake. Symbols of Earth and Heaven from Sticky Rice. According to ancient books, Vietnamese people in the past made many types of soy as offerings. Noticeably, soy NGU Sac 5 colored sticky rice represents five directions. of the country. However, soy in Hanoi is distinctive. Soy is not only a breakfast snack, but it is also found in food trays on special occasions like Tet Festival, first birthday, wedding, etc. Soy stalls are found in many places. From small baskets of soy, its fragrance is wafting through the air making an irresistible appeal. Soy is among few dishes that can be served abundantly. Each type of soy has a flavor and way to combine with other types of food. Soy terrain can be served with rook, salted shredded meat, braised pork, pork pies, or Chinese sausages. Soy gat with attractive red color goes well with lean and fat pork pies. Soy lak and soy duxin are coupled with sesame or ruak. Zio is perhaps the most sophisticated made snack. It is the perfect blend of pure white color of steamed sticky rice, light yellow color of green beans, and glossy golden brown color, tasty greasiness and butteriness of fried onion. When it comes to soy, we cannot but mention soy gak which is made from a kind of leaves. Hinoians like enjoying this type of soy in cook everlasting Nathalium season. Unlike soy with ruak or meat, soy cock is made from young everlasting Nathalium leaves that are found in fields or by rivers. High quality sticky rice and green beans harvested in winter. A bit fried onion and pork belly will perfect the snack.
The flavor of soy cup can make you feel warmer in Hanoi winter. How fragrant and plain this snack is. of soy cock including a bit of soy trying a round bowl of cupcake is wrapped in a piece of banana leaves during chilly winter nights we can feel warm from steaming hot soy taking a bite of soy cock we recognize the tasty glutinosity of sticky rice the piquancy of peppers and the butteriness of green beans Hanoi is home to many famous soy stalls like the fried soy stall in Dielathan, the soy chai stall in Bithijuan, the soy cup stall in Guyan Kuang Tru, etc. However, when it comes to soy stalls in Hanoi, we cannot but mention soy yen in Guyan Yu Huang Street with cooking secrets which bring distinctive tastiness to soy, This stall has become the first choice of many diners. Its xoizio has a peeling yellow color, pretty tasty glutinosity and unmistakable flavor. Place a handful of steamed sticky rice on a piece of banana leaf. Pour a little liquid fat, put some fried onion and smashed steamed green beans. Onto the steamed sticky rice. Braise meat, fried egg or bait could be added depending on your taste. From a bite of soy as such, we can find all the flavors. Sweetness, spiciness, greasiness and butteriness. Hanoi soy has diverse flavors, colors and names. However, Keicho steamed sticky rice is not really a type of soy. Keicho villagers are in the habit of getting up at 2 a.m. to cook soy, which has been their main means of living for years. Over the time, Keicho steamed sticky rice has held an elegant appeal to Trang and people, who are famous for food chuosiness. With traditional recipes, soy of Keijojo has distinctive tastiness and strong fragrance, which arouse tormenting nostalgia among Hanoi natives who are far away. It is difficult to cook tasty soy. It is even more difficult to bring its true tastiness to diners. The wrapping of soy is pretty plain but has certain meaning. Hanoi people in the past wrapped soy in fresh lotus leaves, which make the snack look more elegant and smell more fragrant. It is possibly because lotus is the symbol of purity. For Hanoi people, elegance can be shown through eating and drinking. Hanoians eat soy with hands. They wash their hands before rolling soy into egg-shaped fists. Holding soy with their hands, they can feel how tasty steamed sticky rises. Soy has become an indispensable part in spiritual rituals. It is so plain but scared. White sticky rice wrapped in green fragrant banana leaves. Soy sellers smile to give warm welcome. All make a lovely picture of life. Walking around Hanoi Street in a winter morning, we suddenly feel touches by familiar images of steaming hot soy stalls. When soy is done to a turn, we take the steamer off the fire. Wait until soy cools down a bit and then add a little sugar. Soy gak has eye-catching red color and elegant fragrance. Gak has natural red color which is believed to bring good luck, harmony and favorableness. Soy gak is soft, fragrant and sweet. Soy ngo is the perfect blend of sticky rice and sticky corn. And the typical smell of fried onion which do not cloy our appetite. 
plate of Xoingu looks beautiful with white color of corn seeds and brown color of fried onion. Various Xoy recipes make us so amazed. Xoy Che is an example. The combination of Xoy and Che Duxin makes up a tasty dish. Separate gains of soy, yellow peeled beans, cool sweet soup, fragrance of coconut and beans. All of these bring you such a pleasant feeling when you eat them. Once you have tasted Hanoi sticky rice, a dish with spiritual meaning, you will surely never forget its flavor. This is a popular dish of Vietnamese cuisine. Each kind of soy has a different color, way of cooking and enjoying. The dish is as simple as the daily life of Vietnamese people, and it really carries their love for their homeland.